day four. Uh, so I guess this has turned into a vlog of some sort. Uh, this is day four of the uh, pool project. Um, so I finished uh, removing the old carpet and right now uh, I just picked up the new carpet um, unfortunately this Lowe's location I uh, was told a couple weeks ago that they had enough for all the length that I needed but I waited too long uh, over the last like four days people bought out most of the of the carpet roll so uh, I was able to buy the 19 foot length. Now I need to go to the other lows to to get the rest. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, what I found was though that it was super easy to it was super easy to put in the pickup truck bed. I didn't even have to use the window. I, I'm borrowing my friend Charlie's truck. Shout out to Charlie. Thank you for letting me borrow this truck. Anytime I need to carry something uh, big for my projects. Um, I, I'm still willing to buy it if your dad ever sells it someday. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was able to fold uh, the carpet. It's not that um, stiff as I thought. Um, I actually got it out of the Lowe's in a normal shopping cart. So you just fold it and put it in there. Um, a lot lighter than I thought. So I should have an easy time cutting this by myself. Now, uh, on a side note, I just wanted this for the record, since, uh, you know, someday I'll probably look back at this video. Uh, since I have the pickup truck, I also decided to buy some uh, lumber or wood for my next project, which will be uh, putting up a plastic shed for the pool toys and uh, other pool supplies. Um, so I wanted to get some of the wood for the foundation. I ended up picking two pressure treated four by four, eight feet, uh, eight feet long, uh, pieces. And, uh, yeah, you guys are not going to believe the price. $15 plus tax for each one. $15 for so a total of 32 something for two pressure treated four by fours. That is insane. Uh, I don't know what the price of it was before COVID, but it definitely wasn't $15 each. Um, I was gonna pick up the, uh, the four by eight sheet for the floor and uh, first of all, like, I don't think I could have uh, easily put that in the truck by myself. Uh, but then I saw the price and I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Maybe I can find a recycled piece or something because the price was $52 for that, for the cheapest four by eight sheet I could find for the floor. So just, uh, yeah, just a little side note on the, on the wood right there. So the prices are through the roof. Um, and the pool carpet, you know, that was a little more expensive than I thought. It's like 110 for that 19 foot uh, piece, which will be for the main deck area. Now I gotta go buy the smaller pieces. That's, that will be cheaper. Uh, all right, guys, stay tuned uh, for the next part.
Two hours later. Hey guys, unfortunately, uh, I didn't realize my phone has stopped recording uh, before I started doing the main section. So I don't have footage of that. But um, it's all glued down the same way the other two pieces were glued down. It just took a little bit longer. So putting on these side panels uh, back on required me to remove the bolts that I had not removed in the first place. And while trying to remove one of them, I unfortunately snapped the bolt. Um, so I went and got some replacement uh, parts. Uh, luckily I was able to find something similar that would work. And yeah, uh, I just used that 
to um, hold down this leg. It only happened in one spot, so um, at least I can find our replacements if it if it happens again. As the final touches, I decided to give these uh, ladder holders a new coat of gray paint, and as well as these uh, caps of the of the posts. They were they were in need of replacement. I figured maybe I can extend their their life by a couple more years if I spray painted them, and it goes with the new floor. So um, I was kind of happy. Uh, overall, uh, I think I give myself a B. There's some mistakes like the ones you're seeing right now. It's like a little bit of glue here and there. And this was at the beginning when I didn't realize I was like pressing down on a carpet with my knee. But um, overall, I think I'm happy. You know, it's a B, B plus in my book. Uh, looks great from what it used to be. And, uh, and I don't think you can notice those glue spots too much. So leave a comment, guys. I don't know. What do you think? How did I do? Um, if you're ever going to do this, I have a lot of advice, so feel free to ask me questions. Thanks for watching.